we're out in the outskirts of uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we're on a great big sand dune out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we got a JK that's, uh, we intentionally put in four wheel drive until it can go any further up on the hill. Uh, it's running in 40s with a supercharger. Um, and so we wanna test this, uh, this anchor system out. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dead man and we're gonna dig a hole about 24 inches deep here, bury it all up, and then we're gonna take the leads and put them together and attach it to the, uh, to the JK. And uh, that's gonna create that anchor point so that it can uh, help the JK get back up this hill. Let's get digging, let's get digging, let's do it. Okay, so now we've gotten, we dug a hole about 24 inches, so which is right around my kneecap. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dead man and we're gonna throw it in, and uh, then we're gonna start burying it. Toss it in. Let's keep, you gotta keep the, the leads out. Try to get the, um, uh, the front edge closest to the Jeep um, kind of laid flat. The back edge you can curl a little bit. You can jump here and make it thing. One thing you'll notice is that we made the wall on this hole very straight because that's going to be the the catching point. So when you're when you're when you're um, pulling this thing, it's going to catch on that front wall, and so that's going to create a hook to help just bring the thing up. Okay. Great. So now let's just go ahead and uh, start burying it. You gotta make sure that the leads don't fall in as you start as you're digging. Okay. Alright, so now that we have the dead man buried, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the arms, bring them to or the legs, bring them together, and then the to arms and bring them together as well. So I'm gonna grab the uh, Arms. We want to make sure that the um, loops are kind of all facing up when we bring them together. So yeah, we're going to put the leg, the arms together like this, and then we're going to bring the legs down. Um, sorry, these are legs, these are the arms, and we're going to bring the arms down and attach them to the legs. So this is what the secondary loop is for, so when you're in a, um, using it as a ground anchor, what we found is that if you try to attach these all together with one, you know, one shackle, as you can see, the back end is going to have to um, pull uh, a lot, you know, so it'll start pulling out before the front end finally gets taut. So what we're doing with these secondary loops is we're trying to make all the legs taut, or the legs and arms all taut at the same time. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take one shackle, fit it through all that, go through the secondary loops and the primary loops. So, so, so then we grab the legs and we do the same thing, attach the legs in. And in this case we're using a, the hook from uh, Factor 55, but it could be anything, right? Yep, it could be anything, exactly. Again, we like the Factor 55's closed winch system. Uh, just reduces the you know potential of things slipping or anything like that. So that's why we're grabbing that hole right there. Although they did a fantastic job with this design. And uh, there we go. So we're all we're all set up, all tight, and um, ready to go and recover the vehicle.
as you guys just saw, we uh, used uh, Sean's Jeep uh, to test out this new product. Um, I have to admit, I was kind of skeptical at first when that when that uh, anchor got loaded up and uh, the Jeep started putting tension on it. I watched the dirt as it started to move, and I thought, "Oh, it's going to pull out." But then all of a sudden, it settled, and uh, the Jeep started coming up. It's pretty incredible. Um, so, like I said, then we got this huge, heavy Jeep, pulled it up, no problem. Then once we came over it, uh, we unhooked, and uh, all we did was hook up the back and pulled out. It left all the dirt behind, and then at that point, we just filled in the hole a little bit more. But relatively, uh, you know, one sandstorm, it's all gone. You'll never even know we're here. But uh, the ease of pulling it out was just incredible. Uh, we didn't even have to use the wrench and just drug it out. It's awesome.